Hi guys, so today's makeup look is an everyday look that I wear quite a lot recently. Um, it's really simple and easy to do, so let's get started. So I'm going to start off by taking my um, L'Oreal Lumi Magic um, primer. Um, this is a brightening primer. Uh, I'm just going to apply this with a Real Techniques buffing brush. Moving on to foundation, I'm taking the MAC Studio Fix foundation in the colour NW15. Now, because I'm wearing fake tan, um, I don't fake tan my face, I just go up to my neck. And so that's why I'm using a darker foundation, so at the minute it looks really funny on my skin, but once it's all blended in, it'll be perfect. And I'm just taking a damp beauty blender just to buff this all into my skin. For concealer today I'm taking my favourite concealer which is by Collection in the shade number one fair and I'm just going to be applying this under my eyes to brighten and also just to highlight down the centre of my face um, just for a bit of definition and again I'm just going to take that damp beauty blender and just blend this product out. I find using this um, to blend concealer just makes your concealer stay there all day because I just feel like it's really pushed into the skin. Next I'm going to just set all the concealer using um, my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is in the colour 001 Transparent. And again I'm just taking that damp beauty blender and just pressing this over the concealed, concealed areas for a long lasting wear. So to add a bit of warmth to the skin I'm taking the Jane Ardell Bronzer which is in the colour um, moon glow and just using one of their powder brushes and I'm just using this to warm up the skin so I'm just applying along my cheekbones, uh, jawline, nose and um, forehead and temples. So to add a little bit of colour to my skin, I'm taking another Jane Aldale product. This is their blusher in the shade Copper Wind and it's a really pretty, um, like a peachy orange and suits and complements a lot of um, skin tones. So I highly recommend that product. Now to highlight my skin, I am taking the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette and I'm just using the highlight shade. Um, just applying to the high points of my cheeks for a nice glow and I'm using the Jane Ardell fan brush to use that product. I'm just going to quickly whiz through my eyebrows but it's, I'm using the same products as I have done for a while now which is the um, Browsings by Benefit in the shade Light. Um, so I'm just going to add a, a little bit of warmth through my crease because um, I feel a bit bare when I don't wear eyeshadow. So this is a colour called Kid and it's by MAC and I'm just using a Zoeva crease brush. Um, I really like this brush because it's really nice and soft. Um, so just skipping through, I'm just literally blending this from the outer corner into the middle of the crease and then I'm also just going to buff a bit of the product underneath my lower lash line just for a bit of sort of um, depth around the eye and it all just blends in nicely. I've just applied mascara. And then lip product today, I'm taking, um, it's from a brand in Superdrug called Revolution and it's about £3. I can't remember the name of the product but it's almost like a semi-matte um, finish and it lasts all day and it's just like a perfect pinky colour for daytime or evening wear. And then to set everything, I'm taking my MAC Fix Plus Hydration Mist and just spraying that all over the skin just to lock the makeup in and last all day. So this is the finished look. Um, it's super pretty and really easy to do. It only took me literally about 10 minutes altogether. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And if you want to see more of me, then just subscribe to my channel. Thanks, bye.